What's up everybody? Welcome to another day of gaming with Chinkuza. Today we're going to be doing a box opening of Zendikar Rising uh, set booster. And as you can see right here, we got a set booster box. We uh, are going to be cracking this open, seeing what we get. Hopefully, uh, what we're hunting for is more extended art, uh, Green Warden, extended art, Agony's Awakening. Um, we're even looking for the expeditions, if we can hopefully grab them. Misty Rainforest, Scalding Tarn, Cavern of Souls, Verdant Catacombs, Polluted Deltas, Flooded Strands, Ancient Tombs. All would be wonderful. Uh, Bloodstained Myers, Marsh Flats, Arid Mesas, Wooded Foothills, Windswept Heaths. Pr another Prismatic Vista would be nice. So, let's just get to the Kraken. I don't know what we're going to get today, but we're going to do our best. Let me get my trusty X-Acto knife here. Cut right into the side right along there. Trying not to do too much and let's see what we can get um, toss that to the side oh there goes the box topper it already fell and take off the top And let's get right into the box topper. See what, what we get for the box topper. And we get a Dark Slick Shores. Not a bad pull. Uh, Dark Slick Shores Expedition. We're looking. You know, it's a couple bucks. Nothing, nothing super crazy. Uh, about eight fifty is what that's going for right now. So it's not a horrible, not a horrible pull. Uh, grab. Oh, I forgot to pull out the uh, trusty sleeves. You know, I always sleeve up my rares, no matter how low the cost. If it's rare, it goes in a sleeve. And that be our expedition. And because it is an expedition land, we get a top loader. And we'll look at that a little closer later. First pack. First pack luck. Slam on that uh, like button. If you haven't already, subscribe. Turn on notifications. That way you know when more videos come out. And uh, yeah, slam on that uh, like button for luck, y'all. We got the art card. Uh, four. Oh wait, no set boosters. So verdant or veteran adventurer. We're gonna move that over there. Umbra mystic, shatter skull minotaur, rock slide sorcerer, goma vanguard, thundering spark mage. We got the showcase skyclave. Bubble Snare, Disenchant, and we got us a Charix Raging Isle and a Foil Dreadworm. And then these come in, a little uh, throwback right there, some Alpha Kavu. All right. And we got a couple piles going because different things. Got the Angel Warrior token. Toss that to the side. Oh, gold stamped signed. Uh, this one is the Nahiri. I do like that. That is so beautiful. That's going to go to the side. Got our Swamp. Prowling Felidar. Tazim Raptor. Mesa Lynx. Iridescent Horn Beetle. Marasa Rook. Root Gazer. God, I can't speak. Brushfire Elemental. That's very good, especially in Gruel Aggro, Gruel Adventures. Uh, Colony Ambush. Blood Price. 
And we got a Wayward Beast. And a Aura Skyclave Hierophant. A couple bucks right there. And then our foil is Expedition Skulker. Let's grab our next pack. I do like these because of the art cards. Got our construct token. The art cards are really cool. Our island, blood beckoning, field research, into the royal, bubble snare, shield, shell shield, lulz familiar, Kabira takedown, Drana's silence, Farsight Adept, and we got us an Inscription of Abundance, along with a Foil Showcase McKendee Ox. Alright, got us an Insect Token on this one. There's our Art. Oh, we got a Foil Planes this time, so that'll go to the side. Oops. Highborn Vampire, Nemana Sky Dancer, Malakar Blood Priest, Nemana Skitter Sneak, Ravager's Mace, Thwart the Grave, Kazul's Fury, Suppl Spare Supply, Sneaking Guide, and Orin Ooze, Orin Reef Ooze. And we got the Extended Heart Branch Loft Pathway with the border loft pathway. That's actually a pretty sweet pull. And I need a clear sleeve for this one. Is this perfect fit not gonna fit it? I don't wanna risk it. Uh, oh well, we'll just flip it like that and then give it a top loader. Reuse one of my other penny sleeves. All right. Oh, that's nice little artwork. I do like that. That's the Swarm Shambler. So pretty. I love these artwork cards. Mountain. All right, Utility Knife. Adventure Awaits. Spare Supplies. Deliberate. Canyon Jeroboa. The lovely little field mouse. Can't go wrong with that field mouse, man. Can't go wrong with the field mouse. Fearless Fledging. Spike Field Hazard, and we got a Throne of McKendee and a uh, Extended Art, Grim Climb Pathway, Bright Climb Pathway, the Climb Pathways. And then we got Coveted Prize and a Foil Expedition Diver. So we get us another little penny sleeve. I know these aren't worth much, but I do like sleeving or hard casing the uh, extended art uh, lands. They're really nice. Too pretty to not hard case. So that's why they get the hard case. All right. Malachar Blood Priest Art. Plant token, oops, and I go smack in the uh, the mic. I apologize about that loud thud. Toss the commons, uncommons to the side over here. Kazadu Stomper, Smite the Montre Monstrous, Canopy Ballath, Strength of Solidarity, Teeter Peak Ambusher. Skyclave Geopede, Tangled Flor Florhedron, Cleric's Life Bond, 
Marasa Sproutling, and we got us the Nissa of Shadow Bows. That's actually a pretty sweet pull. Nissa, not super super expensive card, but it's still she's pretty good. She's uh, unfortunately not seeing enough play in my opinion, but she runs about four sixty five, so about five bucks, and then a foil scorch rider. So she gets a sleeve as I throw my arm right in front of the camera. Sorry about that, y'all. And she gets put off to the side. And I need to uh, sleeve up the rest of these rares. So we're going to quickly sleeve those up. Because, like I said, doesn't matter... How low cost they are. If they're rare, they get a sleeve. We show love to all rares. So, let's sleeve these up. Not horrible pulls so far. So let's keep it going. I love these set boosters because you do get the uh, you do get the throwback cards from time to time. Core Warrior, and I love the art cards. The art cards are just beautiful. Great collectors' items. Tazim Raptor, Mesa Lynx, Blood Chiefs, Thirst. Very key card for a lot of decks that run black. It's great spot removal. Skyclave Shadow Cat, Iridescent Horn Beetle, Marasa Root Gazer, Showcase Spitfire Legac, Living Tempest, Skyclave Geopede, and we got another Verizol and a Foil Broken Wings. Not. Not getting the greatest of pulls in this box, but hopefully the luck changes soon. We can only hope. Drake token. Look at that. Nighthawk, right? Yep, Nighthawk scavenger. That is so pretty. Island. Island. Uh, Vanquish the weak. Blood price. Feed the Swarm, Tormenting Voice, Ruin Crab, Canyon Jerboa, Zoff Consumption, Spoils of Adventure, Kite Cell Cleric, and we get us a Null Priest of Oblivion and a Foil Fissure Wizard. So... Can we get there? Can we get there, Skull Collection? Being able to pull another Expedition would be nice. Core Wizard. Look at that Nissa artwork right there. That is so pretty. Forest. We got the Dauntless Unity, Risen Riptide, Reclaim the Waste, Nissa Zendikon, Turn Timber Aesthetic, Moss Pit Skeleton, we got the Showcase Canyon Jerboa. Jerboa. This is probably my favorite artwork of the two. Kabira Outrider. Fearless Fledging, Fledgling. And then we got the Luminarch As Aspirant. Which is actually a really good card. And a Foil Cliffhaven. Uh, kite Sail. So this card. I, I do. If you run white and you're running humans or running a bunch of creatures this card is a really good card to use at the beginning of your combat a creature you control gets uh plus one plus one counters so it stays it's not just until the end of the turn it's there i love this card it's not one of the most expensive um not even it looks like it's not even in the top 20 um, yeah, it looks like it runs about a dollar, 
So grab them while you can. Uh, I'd run it in uh, five color humans in modern. It'd be pretty wicked. Going along with those uh, with the Walking Dead release. Cat be stuck. In oh, here we go. Another gold signature card. Nahiri's Binding. That's beautiful. That's two gold signature cards. Synchronized Spellcraft, Sizzling Barrage, Tuck Tuck, Rubble Fort, Cleric's Life, Cleric of Life Spawn, Relic Vial, Spring Mental Cleric, Pelica Predation, Prowling Felidar, Seagate Veneret, and we got us a Shatter Skull smashing with the Shadow Skull Hammer Pass. I do love that. And a foil scavenge blade. We'll be given that one. The clear sleeve. I think that one about nine bucks. So it's not bad. Got a nine dollar card there. Goblin Construct. Look at that. God, I know I keep saying it, but I love these art cards. Planes. Zulaport Duelist. Cascade Seer. Fissure Wizard. Expedition Diviner. Relic, Am Relic Amulet. Acquisition Expert. Territorial uh, Scythe Cat. Nemana Sky Dancer. Chilling Trap. And then we get Agadine's Awakening. That's good. That's a $17 card right there. Agadine's Awakening with the uh, Agadine the Undercrypt. That's a pretty sweet one. And a Foil Prowling Felidar Showcase. Hard case up the Agadine. Not terrible pulls, I will say. Oh, we got us a tree of tails. Artifact land, I like that. There's the nice little, uh, Art card of the forest. So pretty. And then we get a forest for the land. Rabid Bite, Molten Blast, Inordinate Rage, Scavenge Blade, Fearless Fledgling, Relic Golem, Umara's Wizard, Seagate Colossus, Merfolk Wind Robber, and we got another Ornery Foos and a Foil Subtle Strike. Leave up the Orin Reef Ooze. Here we go. Got the copy token. And a Plains art card. Foil Mountain for the land. Vanquish the Weak. Blood Price, Feed the Swarm, Tormenting Voice, Rabid Bite, Another Brushfire Elemental, Showcase Skyclave Squid, Gold Draz Mucklord, C4 Stalker, and we got us a mag Magmatic Channeler for our rare and a Foil Kazandu Stomper. It's not a bad, this one's actually a pretty, it's, it's a lo another low co cost card that is really good. Uh, I recommend it. For like commander decks that run a lot of spells and everything, Magmatic Channeler would be your best friend. Um, being able to tap, discard a card, exile top two cards, you pick one and be able to play it. It's uh, pretty sweet. And then if you have, uh, what is it, four more instants or sorceries in your graveyard, he, he gets uh, plus three, plus one. Pretty, pretty sweet. Oh, we got a Calming Lissid. That's pretty sweet. 
Um, then a mountain art card, a foil is land, resolute strike, cliff haven cell sword, ardent electromancer, sneaking guide, lithoform blight, mind carver, song mad treachery, scale heights into the royal, and we get us a skyclave apparition along with the foil tezzine raptor. All right. Let's see. We got a couple more packs left. Not even going in any particular, like trying to cut down one over the other. Ah. Uh, look at that. Yep. Like I thought, Madding Cacophony. That's pretty sweet art card. And then a Mountain. Geyser Mage, Stalker, Farsight Adept, Soaring Thought Thief, Key for Demir Rogues, Skyclave Plunder, Con Concerted Defense, Kabira Takedown, Glacial Grasp, Shell Shield, and we got us a Nahiri. That's two Planeswalkers and a Foil Canyon Jerboa. All right, we got us a Nahiri. Sweet, sweet. Nahiri is looking at trying to find it real quick. It's a two dollar card, not super expensive, but still pretty good pull. All right. Another magic mini game card. Oop, I think that's upside down. There we go. Look at that. That be the thwart the grave. So beautiful. Island. Strike. Hunger. Constrictor. Muck Lord. Scale the Heights. Night Runner. Florahedron. Thwart the Grave, the art card we got. Look at that. And then we got us another Magmatic Channeler. And we got a Yasharn and a Foil Crawling Barons. Okay, we got us a triple rare pack here. All right, that's not bad. That was a triple rare pack. I like the foil crawling baron. All right. Another art card. This one's Grove of the Burn Willows. So I, I'm telling you, I, I love that. I wish they'd come up with that sooner. Blast, Rage, Blade, Broken Wings, Kite Sail, Ruin Crab, Veil, Resolute, Ghastly Gloom Hunter, and then we got us a Clearwater Pathway, a Foil Strength of Solidarity, and a Shivan Meteor. Okay, we got us another throwback card. Then the regular Clearwater Pathway. Oh, yeah. Can't use that too small. <laughs> That's what she said. All right. All right. All right. All right. Can we add to the top loaders stack? Oh, look at that. That be. Anawan the Ruin Thief. Island, Tempest, Negate, Surge, Sproutling, Gecko, Cinderclasm of Shadowcase, Felidar, Pressure Point, Vanquish the Weak, Master of the Winds, and a Foil Canopy Ballast. Oops, that was backwards.
Well, that being Nomnath art card with a foil forest. Wings, pickaxe, geopede, blight, carver, domination, lol mages, domination of shadow, uh, showcase, legac, scythe cat, and then we got Drana the Last Blood Chief. No Priest Oblivion and a Foil Turn Timber Aesthetic. It's not, but back ass words again. I love sharing my pulls with y'all. Skull Collection. Again, we've made it this halfway through, basically. If you haven't already, slam that like button. Show your support. Hit the like button for uh, for luck. And I promise, and we'll continue opening these packs. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on that notification button. That way you can know when my videos hit. And let's get on with the packs. Oh, goes that way. What is which one is this one? The Grim Climb. Okay, the back side of the uh It's the back side of the white black land. A Maltean. We got the champion, survivor, catcher, caster, skulker, dominate low mages domination, the black bloom rogue, adventure awaits, and we got us in Valakut Exploration. Along with the Coral Helm Chronicler and a foil this is Zendikon. I do like the Valakut exploration. If you're running mono red, that running two or three of it in your in your red deck wins is really good. Um, and it, it's even a good. Uh, it's good in commander even, especially if you're running enchantments and everything. That all build on each other. Let's see. We've got. Yep, I thought so. The Jace's Mirror Mage art card. So awesome. He looks so sadistic. Swamp. We got us a Royal Mage, Trap, Tactics, Chill, uh, chill Depths, a Healer, Spoils of Adventure, Vask. Vestwood Fortification, Feed the Swarm, Iridescent Horn Beetle, a regular Crawling Barons, Foil Royal Eruption, and then we got the Beck and Call. Okay, I remember this card. I used to play it. I used to play it um, for the Call and my uh, Esper Control. It was a sideboard card. Oops. Can't sleeve it with a card. That'd be interesting. I'm going to sleeve my card with another card. Only a couple more packs to go, Skull Collection. Plant token. Jeez, that's the cleric. Yep, Kite Tail Cleric. So beautiful. Forest. We got the Mind Drain, Glacial Grasp, Anacognition, Skyclave Sentinel, Scion of the Swarm, Surefooted Infiltrator, a show, uh, Showcase Balith, Field Research, Nahiri's Binding, Showcase Phylaf, and a Foil Turn Timber Blade, uh, Tanjur, Tanjuru Blight Blade. I'm just so glad I'm able to share these pack openings with y'all. Um, I look forward to doing these videos. Um, and, and it's just exciting seeing what you can pull. Oh. That be Tabarax. Art card. Swamp. 
Nahiri's Binding, Pressure Point, Disenchant, Territorial Scythe Cat, Roost of Drakes, Another Blood Chief's Thirst, Salundi Vision, Ardent Electromancer, Highborn Vampire, then a Shatter Skull Charger, and a Foil Ruin Crab. I foresee that once uh, it goes out of standard, that Foil Ruin Crab's going to go up in price just a little bit. Uh, Pioneer and Modern Mill. That'd be interesting. Even It's even good for Mill and Commander, to be honest. Cat Beast Token. This one is Tazim Royal Mage Art Card. Island. Cliffhaven Kite Sail. Utility Knife. Adventure Awaits. Bear Supplies. Deliberate Relic Golem, a Showcase Kazandu Nectar Pot, Deliberate Expedition Champion, and we get us a Glass Pool Mimic and a Foil Scourge of the Skyclaves. It may be on the downhill trend for uh, market, but it's not a huge down downhill trend. That is sweet. Um... That one is round about a $14 uh, foil, so it's not horrible. Glass Pool Mimic. God dog it, I can't figure out this sleeve. Glass Pool Mimic, we're looking at... Um, round about a three dollar card, not bad. Yeet. A Island art card. Swamp. Mighty Marasa, Gnarled Colony, Royal Eruption, Scorch Rider, Merfolk Wind Robber, Thundering Rebuke, Malika Rebirth, Mixa Lynx, Utility Knife, and another Valakut Awakening. Along with a foil brush fire elemental. That's not bad. There we go. We're running low on packs. We actually made it through this box a little bit faster than I anticipated. But not going to complain. Copy token. And that be another Plains Art card. With the very same Plains that Art card was as the land. That's pretty funny. Angel Heart Protector, Shepherd of Heroes, Marauding Blight Priest, Core Celebrant, Journey to Oblivion, Allied Assault, Akum Warrior, Malachar Blood Priest, Low Mage's Domination, and we got us another Yasharn and a Foil Akum. Man, it seems like Yasharn just likes me. <laughs> I have pulled so many Yasharns in the last couple videos. It's like I just can't escape Yasharn. Got us a Hydra. Token Magmatic Channeler Art Planes Tajaru Blight Blade Deadly Alliance Glo Ghastly Gloom Hunter Drawn a Silencer Relic Golem Base Camp Showcase McKendi Ox Tazim Royal Mage Shatter Skull Minotaur and a regular Phylath along with a foil Spitfire Legac. 
We might be whiffing on this booster box, y'all. We might whiff. That's so pretty. Scion of the Swarm. Bugs for days, Forest. Draga Visionary, Skyclave Squid, McKindy Ox, Dreadworm, Cousin Do Stomper, Base Camp, Melaker Rebirth, uh, Practice Tactics, Marasa Brute, Swarm Shambler. It's not a bad card. With a foil utility knife and a root runner. Okay. Didn't think I'd pull the root runner. Not gonna complain. Dun, dun, dun. Last two packs, y'all. If you made it this far, make sure you slam that like button and then subscribe and turn on notifications that way you know when my videos post we got a swamp art card with the forest cousin do nectar pot cleansing wildfire pyroclastic hellion spitfire lagak akum hellhound skyclave shadow cat sajiri Sh shelter stonework pack beast Mind Drain, and we got us an Extended Art Crag Crown Pathway, along with a Foil Inordinate uh, Rage. All right. So, there we go. Oh, nope, not Foil. But it will get the, uh, it will get the Hard Case. Last pack love. Last pack love. Okay, no token, so that means we're getting one of the older cards. This is the Clearwater Pathway art. Foil Slamp. Daruga Visionary. Skyclave Squid. McKindy Ox. Dreadworm. Roiling Regrowth, Skyclave Pickaxe, a uh, Showcase Akum Hellhound, Cliffhaven Cell Sword, Kargan War Leader, and we got a Nimble Trap. Oh, Nimble Trap Finder. That's not bad. I needed that card. Foil, and we got a Golden Glow Moth. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad about that. Nimble Trap Finder. That one runs. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, Nimble Trap Finder runs around about. You know what let's put it in alphabetical go to the end got the list right here in front of me um, it's a cheap card run about 15 cents but for whatever reason, I just have yet to be able to pull it. Can't be blocked if you had another cleric, rogue, warrior, or wizard enter the battlefield under your control this turn. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you have a full party, creatures you control game, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card until the end of the turn. I love it. All right, so for the big pulls, which really weren't huge, Dark Slick Shores Expedition. It's not bad. 
the Cry Crown Extended Art, Agadine's Awakening, Bright Climb Extended Art, Foil Branch Loft Pathway Extended Art. Extended Art. Now we're gonna look at because odds are this one's gonna get shipped off to Beckett. Let's look at the condition. Let's see. Actually, the centering looks pretty decent. There's no whitening on the edges. The back side, oh, it's off a little top to bottom on the back. But, so I'd say 9.5, 10. You, you can still get a 10 with like one or two uh, flaws. So, but I'd, I'd say... I, I predict it'll come back at 10, actually. I, I really do. That one should come back at 10. And we'll find out when it comes back. Agadine's Awakening. These won't be getting shipped off, unfortunately. But still good pulls. Um... Now, I wanted to check out some stuff on the art. Because there is a ma uh, um, market for the art. Believe it or not. The art cards. Can I find them? That's the question. Uh, let's do this. I can't believe I'm doing this right in the middle of the video, but why not? Check out the art card price guide. There we go. So for the art, we're looking for the gold signatures, of course, which we pulled two of. There's one and the first one. So let's check out Nahiri first. Um, so that's, this one's about 17 bucks. So not going to complain there. She will be getting, oops, hard cased. And I actually might send her off. I, I'd like to get a graded version of the entire gold, uh, Gold signature stamped uh, art cards. That would be pretty sweet in my opinion. Not going to use that one. And then this one is the Nahiri's Binding. Let's see if I can find the Nahiri's Binding. Nahiri's Binding is... There we go. About nine bucks. But 
because gold stamped and I do want to get a collection or a, a full collection of graded gold stamped ones it still goes now on those the ones you really want believe it or not are the Jace and the Anawan and the Island the both island two islands uh, the gold stamped ones uh, now for non stamped uh, it looks like if it doesn't have the gold signature oh wait 12 island art that's 11 Twelve. I thought we had the twelve. We do not. The uh, if you get the island art card that's uh, numbered twelve of uh, eighty one. Without the gold stamp, it's still a $4 card. So that's not bad. And so anything that's not gold stamp other than that island card is going to be less than 2 bucks. So that's the rest of this stack. But like I said, I do want to get the full uh, collection of gold stamp ones. And I'd love to have them graded. That'd be just... For my own personal collection, that'd be awesome. But anyways, as I always say, I wouldn't be able to do what I do if it wasn't for all of you. Thank you for coming out and watching the video. If you made it this far, make sure you slam that like button and you hit the subscribe and you turn on that notification so you can keep getting notified when I have my videos come out. I, I, I'm not able to do this without the support of y'all. So thank you very much, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.